Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shah, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shah, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shah. When she call law, Yahweh Shmi Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And um, I want to say call law, Yahweh Shmi Yahweh Shah, Brakatha Yahweh Ba Shmi Yahweh Shah Ba Shem Rakak with Das. Okay, whose all honor, praises, and glory is due. Okay. And um, I want to give a sincere salam to all the Alkim out here that's doing the push of the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. The title of this lesson is, you know, basically assurance. Okay. Being assured. We are no longer, you know, <laughs> we should get out of that spirit, basically, of um, saying, I believe. And start saying, I know. Okay? Start saying facts. Okay? Rather than coming off and saying opinions. Okay? Now, um, when you go into the word belief, okay, it, it does go into um, an acceptance that a statement is true or that something exists. Trust, faith. Or confidence in some someone or something okay now when you go into how these people in the world say or use this word belief okay these people don't know what the hell they believe in but they 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 have this conviction that they they, they believe okay like you got these people who claim to be Israelite? I mean, uh, not Israelites. You got some Israelites that that are lost, that don't know what the heck they believe. But you got these Christians that believe that they're they're saved. But do they know that they're saved? No, they don't know that they are saved. Okay, and that's the difference. See, us we speak facts. Okay, us here at Great Millstone, we supposed to be speaking facts. Okay, and um. That's on all levels. We 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 know all things. Okay, we're we're a sore of them. Okay, when it comes down to these scriptures, okay, we're supposed to be sore about what we are speaking about. Okay, this is first John three and eighteen. It says, My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed. And in truth, okay? And when you go into this word deed, forty one. Ergon. Ergon. Okay? And that means business. Employment. That which anyone is occupied. So we're occupied in the prophecies of this Bible. Okay? Which we know are gonna happen. Like the RFID chip. We know for a fact that that's going to happen. And all signs are pointing towards that's happening. Okay? This is a fact. When you go into what what we at Great Millstone say, we get down to the nitty gritty. Okay? To the lowest common denominator. Okay? We go into to the words and, and go into the root. Okay? When it comes down to a problem... We get to the root of things, okay? So it says indeed, okay? And when we when we when you get called into this truth, this is this is you gotta be about your business. Okay? Cause the, the Lord basically hired you to do his work. Okay? To be occupied in his word. And to, 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 to bring the elect, okay, to get them fists, okay? All we got to do is just teach the word and just have that faith, that confidence. Because we know this is going to happen, okay? Otherwise, why even be in this truth, okay? We know for a fact that this is going to happen, okay? It says, and hereby, we know that we are of the truth because this whole world lies in wickedness. It's a lot of wicked stuff out here. But we know that we are in the truth. 
okay, and shall assure our hearts before him, okay, and what the word assure means, tell someone something positively or confidently to dispel any doubts that they may have, okay, persuade, satisfy, convince, vow, swear, affirm, okay, see what this word affirm is, okay, state is a fact, so when we speak, what's in these scriptures? These are facts that we're speaking, man. And these facts that, that we're speaking was given unto us through the spirit, okay, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Okay, it says, assert strongly and publicly. That's why when we go out there on the highway and hedges, we, we state in facts that the Lord going to come back and destroy America. That's a fact. Okay? That... Esau is the so-called white man. That's a fact. Okay? That's a that's you can say that strongly. That Yahweh is gonna come back. Okay? That's 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 a fact, man. Okay. These are facts that we're supposed to be speaking. Okay? Make someone something certain to happen. That America is gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. These are facts. Okay? Make someone sure of something. So when we speak, okay, we're supposed to let people know what's in these scriptures. Because cause that's what's, what's faithful and true. Okay? It says, for if our heart, which your heart is your mind, condemn us, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh is greater than our heart and knows all things. Okay? So if you find yourself to, to be weak, you know, but you sincere, the Lord knows whether you sincere or not, man. Okay? He created you. He knows what, what, what level of proportion of faith you have. Okay? And he's greater than, than that faith that you that you have in him. Okay? That's why the scriptures talk about that that the faith the size of a mustard seed. Okay? Beloved, was the word beloved goes into presses. If our heart condemn us not, then we have confidence towards Yahweh by Shem So, So if you real in, in this truth and you know that you, you really down for the Lord, then you, you know for a fact that you, you, you can go out here and speak this word, okay, confidently. Okay? Surely. Okay, you because you're a sore. Okay, and the Lord, He makes He makes it His word known onto onto uh, certain brothers for them to be more uh, more a sore or sore about what they what they uh, go through. Okay, because the Lord is dealing with different brothers on different levels. Okay, every brother don't have that same proportion of faith, and if you have that 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 faith, okay. Then guess what? What the scriptures say? You got to be showing that faith and deed and in truth. Can't be lazy. You got to be on on fire for this word. Because a, a person that believes in this word, he's going to be doing it. But then you got some people out here that, that are faking the funk. Okay? They faking the funk and you can see right through them. Okay? But, but for, for those... Who, who may be a little weaker in the faith, the Lord knows your, 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 your spirit, okay? He created you, okay? All you got to do is just have that faith, okay? Don't take that RFID chip. But if you have that faith, the Lord is going to, and, and, and you're, you're sure you're able to speak these facts, okay? Then you can speak this word boldly, okay? It says, and whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. When you pray, you're supposed to know it. Hey, the Lord gonna give me that 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 uh what I what I asked for if it's in his will. Because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight because we doing what the Lord said for us to do. Okay? And this is the commandment that we should believe on the name of his son Yahweh Shah. This is not Jesus Christ. We know for a fact that's not the name. And love one another. And as he gave us commandment, 
And he that keeps his commandments dwells in him. Because he know that they, these commandments are, are the truth, man. Of how we supposed to be living. And, and, and he and him. And hereby we know that he abides in us by the spirit which he gave, he has given us. We Before you came into this world, you probably didn't have as much confidence as you have now. But now you have something to be comf confident in. Okay, the Lord gave you his spirit. Okay, so that's one of the reasons why certain brothers, okay, will be able to die for this, this, this word. Okay, go through the persecution because they know for a fact that this is the truth. Okay, this is Matthew 5 and 16. It says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. And what's those works? That, them, that deed, okay? Those deeds that we're doing for, for the Lord. Not for our own self, for, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh okay? And the right doctrine, okay? That they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. And that's what it's really about, man. If you really are, are sure about this work, then you're going to be let, you're going to let, your, your, your light is going to shine, okay? And that's going to allow the glory to, to go further to your house by seeing your side, man. Because we speak in facts and not our own opinions, okay? So with that, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to say shalom until next time.